right guys, uh, so out and about now, cruising. Uh, I got everything in now and testing the intake temp. I'm having a hard time getting fuel in it actually. I've had to change the fuel map quite a bit. Like 30% or something. I don't know if it's just because of the, the air temp completely, but cruising around right now, my intake temp is 63 degrees. should be able to add some controller but I'm already at 98% duty cycle for fuel at 4300 rpm so I definitely I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with this that much because it's already kind of like struggling to get fuel in it that's why I bought all the fuel parts I'm just gonna upgrade the fuel system right away because I'm kind of sick of messing with it and it's already tapped out at like four pounds five pounds so I'll try to I'll try to get a little bit more fuel in it but it's pretty much, pretty much uh, at its limit already. It's probably, you know, just because of the fuel system, like how it's set up with the factory, the factory filter and regulator inside the tank probably isn't that good. It's a returnless style. And I'm guessing that's probably what sucks with it. So we're just gonna switch all that stuff. And that'll probably be my next project. But let me cruise a little bit longer. I'll do a little pull and then I'll add some more fuel to it. And then I'll try to do a longer pull, maybe try to do like an eighth mile or something and see. Um, I know that the intake temp sensor was loose. And I can tell how loose it was right when I got into it the first time because I actually hear a little bit of turbo flutter now when I lift. So before it wasn't doing that. So I know that that was leaking enough that it, it kept the turbo from fluttering. Because I don't have a blow-off valve on there. I don't, I don't really care much about a blow-off valve. Not yet anyways. change one degree it was the exact same the whole time it was about five seconds I look at the time right about five seconds and it didn't go up one degree all right so I'm gonna let that thing right I did add like another probably six percent seven percent I'm guessing it's just that much of a oh I might have just screwed myself 
My computer, my laptop just died while I was doing it right. Fuck. Uh-oh. Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, well, this is interesting. I guess we'll figure out what happens here. We got a little surprise on the video. I don't know if I should shut it off yet or not. Service? Service stability track? I don't know. 30%. It's got 30% and then it's going to turn back on. I knew the battery was getting a little bit low, but it said it had about 30 minutes until it was going to die. So I thought it'd be good for one more before I went home. Uh, I guess I'm going to shut it off and we'll see. See what it does. See if it even starts. Let's try that. Yeah, it doesn't even click. Fuck. Uh, it was just a, a, a right calibration, though, so I should be able to go back in and just rewrite it, and then it should be fine. It's not going to... It shouldn't give me a problem just rewriting it. Now, if it was a right entire, I, I would be screwed. <laughs> I've done that before, not exactly like that, but I have done that before where it was like in the middle of a right calibration and something happened, and then I was able to fix it by rewriting over it. I can't remember what that was, though. <clears throat> At least I think that's what's going to happen. If not, I gotta ha I'm going to have to go, what, walk home? Is that how that works? Charge my, charge my battery? Turn my laptop back on now it didn't restart like it said it was going to um so i'll turn it back on and see if i can get that other right to happen and get that thing good <laughs> it doesn't do anything let's do an experiment i'm gonna do an experiment oh wait my computer just turned on. I was going to call my wife on speakerphone and see what she says. Let's do it anyways. Usually when she answers the phone, if I'm out for a while and I call her, usually she answers the phone and she's like, did you break it? <laughs> do you need me to come get you? Something like that. Let's see what she says. while I'm trying to log in. Computer just died. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an up... Ooh. Not good. <laughs> uh, well... Try to call her again. I'm actually closer this time. Does that mean you need me to come and get you? It, well, kinda. <laughs> that was what the heck was? Uh, well, funny story. Are you ready? I am ready. I got my soda and I'm sitting out. Okay, good. Good plan. So I was doing a write. I made a change and I was doing a write and the computer freaked out while it shut, like, shut off. I got a blue screen. It said your computer encountered a problem. And it was it was in the middle of writing a tune, so it basically didn't have a file. Like it erases the file and then it puts a new one on or erases the information. So the truck doesn't start. And I'm like, oh, no problem. I'll just restart the computer. So I restarted the computer. It went through a Windows update and then the computer died. So, I have a dead laptop. Sorry. I have a dead laptop and I can't write the new file. So, do you want me to just come get your laptop? Will it be there? I, I don't know what. And charge it? 
And then I, I'm not allowed to like be at home while, <laughs> while the laptop's charging or what? Yeah, that's what you get for going out with the dead battery. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I'm uh, I'm at the industrial park. Just leave a note on the windshield. I'll be back. My computer died. I had to go home. <laughs> Don't tow my car. I mean, I'm parked on the side of the road. It should be fine. All right. So, you need me to come get you. Huh? Yeah, unless you could send a carrier pigeon that would carry me uh, home or something. Well, I don't think the carrier pigeon could come get you. Maybe the computer. I suppose. Good thing you have me, you know? Yeah. I knew there was... Can I answer my phone and all? Mm. Did you see how many times I called you? We're jamming. Oh, yeah? I don't know how many times you called me. How many times you called me? Uh, Twelve. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good thing I answer on the twelfth time. Jamming like a salmon. All right, yeah. I'm by the water tower. See you in a few. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> she says, "Are you by your normal spot? Because there's a normal spot, like a spot that I, for some reason, probably just because that's where I do a lot of my testing. It's in that same area. Um." I kind of have a strategy, it seems like, in a way, like a couple spots that I pull over for tuning or a couple spots that I pull over that I know I can coast to if something breaks. So I usually end up in, in the same spot. So I've had, like, dead battery there once. I had my drive shaft break once, and I kind of coast into that same spot. So there's been a few times that I've had to be towed home or she had to come pick me up from that spot so i'm not in that spot today though i'm in a different spot we're changing it up a little bit we can never be too predictable so she'll be here in a few minutes i'll charge the laptop it'll be dark by the time i get out here so i don't know maybe we'll just pick this up tomorrow or maybe i'll just put this one up um anyways the temp is temps are working really good so five second pull and i was driving it like i said for about an hour and the temperature doesn't rise like at all so that's good better than 200 degrees before it was it would get so hot and heat soaked inside the engine bay that it was basically just pumping hot air right into the right into the engine all the time and it was basically sucking like ambient ambient air out of the engine bay so that's like high hundreds 160 it'd be like 160 170 just cruising around uh, now it's it's getting a lot of cool air coming from the front and cools it way down so when I was driving before it was it was showing as low as 59 degrees and the current temp right now is 39 degrees outside so it's probably a little bit it was probably a little bit warmer before. So it's probably like 10, 15 degrees above ambient temperature. Um, and then rising maybe 5 degrees during a pull. So that's pretty good. So I'll leave it at that. Not a very exciting video. I might go do some driving some more. But I just don't feel like it's very exciting right now. I guess it's not exciting to drive it. I don't think the videos are that good. Um, so maybe we'll just start on the fuel system because then I really have no more excuses. So it's a decent turbo, good cooling, decent injectors. It's got decapped injectors, so they should go pretty far. Uh, but right now I just have a fuel issue. So the only other things holding it back then would be the cam, the converter, and then the transmission. But the transmission's just weak, like it would, it would just break or something. Um, but as far as what's holding it back from making power, would be fuel system and then the cam but and then fuel system the cam and then the converter is just making it lazy so maybe we'll start working on that stuff <laughs>